Yeah, guys, Glossop was two weeks away from his execution before the Supreme Court stepped in. And now there's a state lawmaker saying he might change his opinion on the death penalty because of Glossop. We've got to prove my innocence and carry it out and, um, and hopefully stop it from happening to anybody else. Since 1997, Richard Glossop has said he's innocent. Throughout the last three decades, KOCO has covered the case. But new today, intervention from the Supreme Court, blocking his execution scheduled for May 18th. I told him, I said, Richard, today is not your last visit. I guarantee you today's not your last visit. You're going to have more opportunities. Representative Kevin McDougal made the trip to McAllister to see Glossop in person today. He spearheaded an effort claiming he's an innocent man, and if he's put to death, it would be too significant to ignore. That would be the exact very first time ever in the history of the United States that a AG agreed with the defense and said we need to vacate charges and yet we go ahead and kill him. You may remember two weeks ago when Attorney General Gettner Drummond recommended clemency for Glossop in front of the Pardon and Parole Board. In a statement, the AG did say he thinks Glossop is guilty of accessory after the fact in the death of Barry Van Treese, but not first degree murder. We're victims as well. We've been in prison this entire time with this situation. The family of Barry Van Treese making statements to us at the end of April. We've kept quiet. We've tried to do the right thing. We've tried to take the high road. We've tried to not make um, accusations. Representative McDougal, a Republican, says this case could change his own stance on the death penalty. If they put Richard Glossop to death, I will fight hard to end the death penalty because you can't trust it. And, and we've got to be able to trust our death penalty in Oklahoma. Now, it's not yet clear what will happen next with the case, if it'll go back to the Court of Criminal Appeals or to the Supreme Court. Richard Glossop has had his last meal several times, guys. <laughs>